elastic. Okay. Oh, Julian, oh. you f You see the way you're flipping? Even slow, that's the way it's supposed to be done. Okay. Then when you're doing it fast, you gotta do it exactly the same way. Making it better already. Yeah, did you wanna see some of the videos from... I'm trying to figure out Jerome. I'm trying to figure out how I can help Jerome start winning more. You want so maybe, my, my yeah. two cents on it? Yeah, why not? I haven't seen the video, so who knows if Jerome performed the way he was supposed to, but it's... I'm going to bring a chair. I don't want to sure. sit on my like, sit on my knees. I'm not young enough for that anymore. Um, that one's missing a tennis ball. Of course it is. The one chair I pick up. I just don't want to have to like, whatever. I found my NMAC. Sparring uniform? The sparring uniform on soup. Yeah. Like even just based on that opening? Yeah, not, not extending. Not long enough. But this would have been his third, his third uh, form. Let's see the first one. Does he lose this one or win it? Wins this one. Nice. Just a little stronger on the kicks, but that was nice technique though. How's his flexibility? But he works okay. and he practices all the time. It's not bad. Ugh. He still does need a little bit more power. Yeah. We need to work on his horse stance to push his knees back. We got to work on that flexibility. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to hurt him. I'm going to hurt him. He, I think he needs some <laughs> external force. Yeah. He's but gonna, not too much where you're no, <laughs> freaking. No, I'll you know? stop when I hear a snap. Yeah, there you go. Put him against the wall and, and, push. and horse. And yep. I've done that for him before. Yeah? Yeah. It's not enjoyable. Nope. But he needs it. He just needs to, oh, is it his hips or his groin? Groin. Kids, center, like his split and his butterfly are high. Yeah. How often is he stretching? Every day. And what's, I believe him when he says every day. What stretches does he do? Butterfly and uh, split. Do you have him do hip openers too? What's that? Like a figure four to open his outer hip? I don't hip? think I do that, but I'm sure he might. So I can run that so then by Then you can him. open his hip up as well, just in case it's not open. Yeah. Because if you're only targeting the one, you should target the outside and then have him roll. <sighs> okay. Oh, Julian, oh. you f Lesson today is wax on, wax off or coffee on, coffee off. Oh, so funny. <laughs> <sighs> I'm clever sometimes. I thought that was funny. I thought that was funny. Whatever. It's like a snow globe. That's always where I put it. It's always where I put it. Like not once do I not put it right beside my chair on the ground. I don't know what I was walking over there for. Oh yeah, my phone went off. Pardon? Which one do you want me to see next? Let's start with Anandai. Okay. Since you hadn't seen it yet. And go from there. Yep. Okay. See. This part is the... One of two ways. I want you to... Yep. Is that fine? Yep, shoot and then one, two, pull. I'm gonna start teaching everyone the pull <coughs> method on that this? knee part uh, before it. That's okay. how I'm going to start showing it to everyone. I've seen that one. Yeah. Cool. Okay. 
Technique wise, fine. Yep. Cool. Technically sound. Sick. Love that. All right, next. Oh, on die and on, on, we're fine. Yep. That I'm not good at now, which is Shatanyara and Papyrin. Okay. So I'll do Yara first because I just, that one's newer. Okay. Very few people who can do that one properly. Some people you should do be in two the, kicks. It's one kick. It's just a really emphasized knee. Yeah. And should it's it not still be a, low? It's not a here. You're in the air when you kick. All right. A little bit of the flare pieces that make it look sharper okay. that you're going to need to learn when we break down the form. Okay. Because there's quite a few. Of okay. Them. Little things like even when you like come to the center here and like posturing up first, then pull and go. Yeah. Instead of just going from here and going, <clears throat> especially when you have the flexibility and leg strength to come to here, come up, and Explode then without out. moving your upper body. <sighs> Side, hook, pull. Elastic. Smooth? I've never seen anyone do that smooth. I've never seen anyone do that smooth. Okay. And ever. You can, but very, very normal is the shoot, shoot. Yeah. Yeah, that one's probably my worst one. So that you can rotate. And you get that same rotate. Fast, fast. Smooth, fast, smooth. Turn and step here or right away. Boom, step. Cool, I like that. Stay sideways until the last moment. After there, stay sideways on the first step, then rotate into the hip turn. Yeah. Step, swing. Feel better? Yes. Yeah. You were turned completely already on the first step. So like yeah. you were turning into the first step. So there was no hips on the second step. Now you get the hips involved on the hands. Underneath, underneath? It's whatever you're more comfortable with and that you can do speedier. I go, the forward hand ends up in front. So I go right over left, left over right. Right over left, left over right. That's the way yeah. I do it. Underneath, underneath, yeah. Turn so that you can turn. One, two. Load, pull. 
not want to. But no hip, but hips, no hip load. Hips, no knees. I see. Hips, turn. Cool. My left knee clicks every time I do this move. Lower back, come on, lower back. Ugh. I'm okay. Just figuring out my order of best to worst, I think. My best one is tied between Anon and Ohandai, and then Anandai. And then technique wise, I feel like my Shatanyara is better than my Papyrin. So I think that's where I'm like, that's where my layout is. I just wanted to like put that here because you never know what happens in like a month of training where they start to like switch and flip flop and stuff. So where I'm at right now, that's like technical wise. And also I think I feel the strongest doing those two as well. So that's where I'm at right now. And I'm excited to see what I'm going to say to you all and say to myself in a month from now with training all of these colors and putting it together and actually starting to like put the tempo in, put the power in and execute them well. I'm curious to know what my body will take to the most. We'll see. Still feels too throaty. I feel like I'm like too throaty. I need to feel it from the tummy. It's the difference between the throat and the tummy. And you could feel it. You could feel the difference where it's like, but I can't force it yet. Where like, no, I have to force it right now from the stomach until it becomes more natural because I keep going from the throat and you could hear it. You hear the difference and not, it's not as strong. It doesn't make you feel as strong too. So I have to like start practicing that from here. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that was better. Uh, just gonna figure it out. It's so hard. <laughs> that one wasn't too bad. Figure it out. I'll figure it out, guys. I'll figure it out. Because I'm so used to just going from it's so much easier, but it's not as strong. Doesn't match it as well. This is what Julian told me. So I have to make sure that I stay on top of fixing that breathing. Need to practice it. Just watering his bonsai right now. Bonsai! Bonsai! Where's that from? Pop quiz. Pop quiz, where's that from? Tell me in the comments. Only real ones know. All right, what should I do? The feet extend, drop, lift, switch twice, middle, punch up, block them, punch up, block them. See, that was all throat. That one was all throat. I felt some snot come out for that one. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, guys. I'll figure it out. Aya. That was okay. Thought it wasn't. Down, up, shoot, boom, 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 pull, feet together. That, 
feet together has been messing me up. Boom. I'll tell you why when I'm done. Boom. Boom. Drop. That was my favorite move. Watch the hands. Love that move. Boom. We're gonna try and jump. I don't really practice the jump, but let's see the jump. Up. Work in progress. In the air. Up. Done. these patterns okay the reason the reason why the feet fully together is messing me up is because in kung fu which is what i'm trained in we are used to feet in a v so our heels are always together so our toes you guessed it are never together so when i'm doing katas like these where some are heels touching, some are full foot. It's hard for me to like remember, first of all, remember which one is heels, which one is full. And then when, it, when I do remember, it's like forcing my, my toes to connect, not like overlap, but to connect because I want to go heels only. So fun fact for you all. Takeaways for today, it was obviously a less um, cardio endurance based uh, training for me today, but um, valuable nonetheless. I feel more confident with my patterns um, for my karate katas. So takeaways are it's looking pretty good technique wise. Um, I had some main points for my technique throughout, so that'll be good notes for me to train and practice. There's some differences that I'm gonna uh, fix up and make better for next time. The main takeaways for this is continue to practice, get more confident with the techniques themselves, and then I could start adding my tempo and my power and that breathing that I was talking about. So um, next step is gonna try and implement those things and take it to the next, next baby step for me. That's it.